You've got to tune to Listener Power 90.3 FM KEXP and online at KEXP.org. Morgan here with you on the Saturday afternoon. I'm very excited. I'm down in the live room joined by Jen Clower and band. Welcome to the studios. Thanks for having us, Morgan. It's awesome. Please take it away.
Jen Clower live on KEXP playing tonight at Numos. The new self-titled record came out this past August on Milk Records. She's been touring with uh, Courtney Barnett and Kurt Vile on the Lot of Sea Lice tour, now doing a run of headlining shows on the new record. I stopped missing you days before. You leave, I guess it's a kind of sensory memory Deep below the conscious mind you, I can be on my own I'm an only child, I like my company Part around, make another part of tea for two is when you come home We sit and eat breakfast, eggs with soldier toast But it wow, so you get the edges of
nights all day Sitting through a window Air conditioned room With the view Late night, early morning Light creeps through the blinds And the cat hungry for her breakfast Greeting keeps me sane I'm not vain For the lonesome highway Guess I'm never gonna be The joy to your slim dusty Jen Clower live on KEXP. So good. It's nice to have you here. Thank you for being here. Such a pleasure. So fun. Yeah. To start off, would you mind introducing your band for the people at home? Absolutely. So uh, on drums, we have Jen Shalakis. Uh, on bass, we have uh, Bone Sloan. And on guitar, Courtney Barnett. Nice. Thank you all for being here today. And uh, the new record is so great. It's self-titled. Um, it's a deeply personal record that touches on a lot of subjects dealing with uh, your loneliness of being home while your wife is out uh, on tour, U.S. and Australian politics, being a woman, marriage equality, and being a musician in Australia. How did you decide <laughs> to get all of those very personal topics onto one record? And how did that feel, that process of writing all of that? Yeah, when you put it that way, it's like, wow, I really did pack a lot into 10 songs. You nailed it. <laughs> I, yeah, I, well, I think it was a, a thing of, um, I don't know, uh, really wanting to talk about things that I care about. Uh, and writing a record, I guess it's very much of the moment, as you mentioned, you know, marriage equality in Australia isn't necessarily something you'd expect to sort of sneak onto a record, except that I guess it directly affected, you know, myself and Courtney. Um but, yeah, I, I feel like, um, you know, it's an interesting thing, you know, when you talk about those, I guess, rather personal topics. Um, I've seen a lot of people really connect with the record as well. You can often think, oh, is it too insular? Are people just going to go, what's this girl talking about <laughs> being lonely at home? And then, you know, so many people have said, oh, I really identify with those themes. So just goes to show. 
Nice. Sounds great. And when you are at home, uh, you and Courtney co-own Milk Records, and uh, you manage Milk Records, and part of, of that is that you're championing artists in your community, and you also ha- host a workshop called I Manage My Music. Can you talk about that workshop, what it does, and what are the challenges um, Australian artists are facing in the sure. industry? Yeah. Look, I started the, the workshops about seven years ago as a forum for independent artists to come together and just talk about you know, the challenges of uh, releasing and touring music in Australia. It's a huge country uh, with a relatively small population. You know, there's 25 million to, I don't know, you're sort of close to 400 million in the States or 325 million. Um, And it's just difficult, I guess, to sustain a career there. Uh, So I was curious. I was like, how are other people doing this? So I thought, I'll start a workshop and find out. So I've had so many incredible... Uh, artist speakers come through. There's usually about 25, 30 people and we just sit and and sort of talk about it in the cold, hard light of day. Um, Yeah, it's been huge though because I've taken a lot of those, um, I guess, ideas over to Milk Records and applied them, you know, as you would, um, I guess, with an independent artist. How about we try a lot of those ideas with an independent label? So, you know, crowdfunding, um, I guess sort of touring the label, Um, making compilation records, just finding ways where we can be self-sustaining. Cool. And what's the the main piece of advice that you offer new artists? I guess, uh, well, well, the main thing, there's two things, is find your community. You know, don't try and do it alone. A lot of people isolate and wait to be discovered in their bedroom uploading songs to SoundCloud. But I think music is all about getting out and seeing lots of bands and being a part of a community and being supported by those people around you. I'm sure at KEXP you can totally identify with that. Oh, yeah. Um, and I guess the other side of it is um, you know, don't go into debt for your music. Try anything you can to make it a sustainable business practice. Don't try and, you know, uh, what is it, walk before you crawl. Yeah. Totally. Um, You've also been a vocal advocate for women and female artists. You gave a speech uh, earlier last year for women in music where you talk about how uh, Courtney kind of blew the doors open for women, especially coming out of Australia. Um, What do you see the biggest challenges facing women artists and how is it changing? I think really it's been a a shifting uh, time where we've seen, particularly I think in, you know, uh, indie rock and, you know, I can really only speak for that world of music, you know, indie rock and folk, where women have certainly, you know, women and gender non-conforming folk have really dominated that space now. Um, And I think it's really, I don't know, it feels like it's time for the rest of the industry to catch up. You see a lot of festival builds where there's usually 10 white men build before you even have your first woman. And I'm like, actually, I feel like the general public don't reflect the way a lot of those festivals are built. And just feels to me that the music industry needs to kind of catch up with the public. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? Sometimes yeah, totally. it's like catch up. Like everyone's moving ahead. You they know? do the tried and true and not taking risks, right? Yeah, take some risks. Yeah. Um, you know, if you feel like your audience needs to be sort of taught some some things about music, then, you know, teach them, show them all of these incredible artists that I don't think are kind of getting the main stages or the prime time. You know, a woman can hold down a main stage at a prime time. Absolutely. Do you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. She's got it. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) Uh, Going back to the new record, you ended up recording it at uh, Wilco's The Loft Studios in Chicago and worked with Tom Schick, who's worked with huge artists like Paul McCartney, Sean Lennon, uh, and Jeff Tweedy, of course. How did you get connected with that studio and that producer, and how was the experience? Well, it, it's an interesting, it was kind of uh, in two parts. So we, we uh, mixed the album at The Loft with Tom Schick um, and I loved uh, Suki Ray, which was an album by Jeff and his son, Tweedy, the Tweedy record. Uh, and I looked on the back cover and I was like, Tom Schick, who's this guy? Uh, and did a bit of research and managed to get in touch with him. So we, we actually recorded the album in uh, rural Victoria mm. uh, in, a, in an old bakery. A friend of ours has a beautiful studio there. Very relaxed, could take the dogs down. Does it smell good? It smelled fantastic. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then we decided, well, let's take a trip over to Chicago um, in the sort of middle of winter, we landed and it started snowing, which for Australians is very exciting yeah. because we don't get a lot of snow. Um, and, yeah, I mean, the loft is an incredible space and we felt really privileged that um, Jeff and, and Wilco let us in to use the space. 
That's cool. Yeah. It sounds really good. Ah, cheers. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, you've spoken in the past about your experience with not touring with Courtney when she's on tour. Mm. Um, but this fall and this, uh, this last year, you've been able to tour. How, do you find that you like touring together? Oh, absolutely. It's, I mean, I think it's really important uh, that Courtney's in the band, you know, first and foremost, because she's always been in my band mm -hmm. and is an incredible uh, guitarist and artist. Um, but also, I think if she were not in my band, we really would not see each other because I'd either be on the road or, you know, Court would be on the road. And our, our cat Bubbles would be an orphan. Oh. Uh, <laughs> and we can't have her. <laughs> Do you draw with the cat? <laughs> what was that, sorry? Did you, you said your cat? Our cat Bubbles. Is the yeah. cat with you? Uh <laughs> She's in Australia. Oh, okay. Yeah, she's being sitting. She's being well looked after. Although we often do say how great it would be if we could tour with Bubbles. That would be amazing. Just have her there. Yeah, tour yeah. cat. Yeah, I don't think she'd like the long flights. Yeah, probably not. It wouldn't be good for her ears. <laughs> yeah, that's true. She would be an unhappy kitty. <laughs> uh, Jen Clore, you're playing tonight at Numos. Definitely go out and see uh, Jen Clore tonight. We'd love to hear a couple more songs yeah, from you. Yeah, sure. Great. Jen Clower live on KEXP. It's true. 
Jen Cloer live on KEXP. So long you could have been dead Piles of books you bought but never read Pain is still life of your side of the bed Patty Smith poems, a hair tie and some vitamins There's only so much you can say in a text Reading between the lines is hazardous A slow reply can Jen Cloer live on KEXP. The new self-titled album is out now. Playing tonight at Numo's. Thank you so much for playing for us today. It was a pleasure having you. Thanks for having us, Morgan. And have a great time tonight at Numo's. So excited. And we'll see you next time you're in town. Yay. Keep it tuned right here to the, sta the station where the music matters. 90.3 FM, KEXP, Seattle. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org. Right. Yeah. <laughs>